Then reach out your hand and put it in my side. Stop your doubting and believe. My Lord. And my God. The Syro Malabar Church, which came into existence through the preaching of St. Thomas the Apostle, spanning a period of 20 years from his arrival in AD 52 to his martyrdom in Mailapo in AD 72, is resplendent with a glorious tradition of missionary zeal and evangelical endeavors. The church which is engaged in evangelical activities throughout India and outside is enjoying a period of frenetic spiritual activity and growth at this moment. Under the capable and efficient leadership of great bishops, priests, the religious and the laity, and also through the witness and intercession of the saints and the blessed, the Church has made rapid strides in spiritual growth and development. The Church has a very checkered and tumultuous existence during the last 20 centuries of its existence, having moved through various phases of administration from its inception through Chaldean bishops, Portuguese Padruado, and Propaganda Fide. It was 25 years ago that the Syro Malabar Church was declared a Suyuris Church. It was Saint John Paul II who raised the Church to the status of an autonomous major archiepiscopal church in December 1992. Mar Anthony Padira was appointed the major archbishop of the church, while Mar Abraham Kartumana was appointed the pontifical delegate by the Holy See. Mar James Pariatil was appointed the major archiepiscopal assistant after the demise of Mar Abraham Kartumana. When Mar Anthony Padira retired in 1996, Mar Varki Videtil was appointed the apostolic administrator and was later appointed the major archbishop in 1999. After the demise of Mar Varki Videtil, on 1st April 2011, Mar George Alancheri, who was the Bishop of Takale Diocese, was elected the Major Archbishop by the Synod on 29th May Major Archbishop is the Beatitude George Alancheri, who has been chosen by God to lead and to guide the Sira Malab Under the capable and dynamic leadership of Cardinal Ma George Alancheri, the Church has become more cohesive and united and is making rapid spiritual growth in all fields of ecclesiastical endeavors. In the liturgical domain, almost all the important liturgical texts are published. The revoking of the reservation with regard to liturgical matters in 1998 facilitated the publication of liturgical texts. The Taksa of the Holy Kurbana, Anaphora of Mathedo, Lectionaries of the Word of God, and the texts for the sacraments have been published. Many more are in the final stages of publication in the area of catechesis. All the catechism textbooks, both in Malayalam and English, and teacher's guide have been published. And now faith formation is very effectively carried out by the use of modern methods 
of smart classes in some places. The church has its own publications like the Synodal News, the Eastern Legal Thought, Thomas Christian Heritage, etc. Deepika, one of the oldest newspapers in Malayalam in Kerala, is run under the auspices of the church and is a powerful means for communicating the social and political perspectives of the church in the media world. Other means of communication are also made use of at the diocesan level like community radio, TV channels, online channels, etc. The empowerment of the church as a Suyuris church has injected more energy to the activities of the laity through Catholic Congress, Madhruvedi, Siro Malaba Youth Movement, etc. There are four major archiepiscopal assemblies to give the church new orientation in order to help it to adapt to the contemporary context, involving the participation of the various sections of the people of God. The spiritual renewal of the faithful is evident from the participation of the faithful in large numbers in many retreat and pilgrimage centers. The major archiepiscopal curia that functions at Mount St. Thomas coordinates the synodal activities of the church. The synods of the church are held twice a year at Mount St. Thomas, the permanent synod that has the function to advise the major archbishop also meets here regularly. The offices of the Curia Bishop, the offices of the Chancery, of the Finance Department, of the Archiepiscopal Tribunal, of the Department of Catechism are functioning from Mount St. Thomas. So also are the offices of the Commission for Evangelization and Pastoral Care of the Migrants, of the Commission for Liturgy, of the Commission for Vocation, of the Commission for Doctrine, of the Commission for Clergy, and of the Commission for Institutes of Consecrated Life and Societies of Apostolic Life, of the Commission for Family, Laity, and Life. The other offices that function at Mount St. Thomas are those of the Youth Commission, of the Public Relations, of the Committee for higher education, of the public affairs, of the internet mission and of the Ciro Malabar mission. The liturgical research center and museum are working adjacent to the curial office at Mount St. Thomas. The church is blessed with three saints, three who are declared blessed and 12 servants of God, an office of the postulator general that is functioning at Mount St. Thomas coordinates the canonical procedures needed for the declaration of canonization. The following four major seminaries are working under the jurisdiction of the Synod. St. Joseph's Pontifical Seminary, Mangalapura, St. Thomas Apostolic Seminary Vadavadu, Good Shepherd Seminary Kunnoth, and St. Ephraim's Theological College Satna, existing outside the state of Kerala, which has a missionary focus in the training of its seminarians. The Siro Malabar Mission Year was celebrated from August 2011 to August 2012. July 3rd is celebrated as a Siro Malabar Church Day. The representatives of all the dioceses and religious congregations gather here on that day. The church, which is one of the 23 Suyuris churches, has five archdioceses, 29 dioceses and an exarchate. Of these, 13 dioceses are in Kerala, 18 outside Kerala and three outside India. There are two apostolic visitations 
Europe and New Zealand. There are seven men congregations, three congregations for religious brothers, three monasteries for men, 35 women congregations, nine pious unions for women, six secular institutes for women, and three monasteries for women who are tirelessly engaged in the proclamation of the Word of God through various means. At present, the church has 62 bishops, two bishops elect, 4,400 diocesan priests, 4,500 religious priests, 36,000 sisters, 260 religious brothers, 3,000 parishes, 550 mission stations, 2,000 charitable institutions, and 4,000 educational institutions. There are 5 million faithful, of which more than half a million live as migrants in different countries of the world. It is a recognition of the vitality of the Syro Malabar Church that three of its major archbishops, Mar Anthony Padiera, Mar Varki Videthil, Mar George Allen Sherry, were made cardinals. <laughs> Bakumana Pata, John Nelikun Elechana Sagar Ruba Devade Pudia Mitran, Bakumana Pata, James Satikalam, MST. It is worth mentioning that the revoking of the reservation regarding the election of bishops in 2002 helped expediting the process of the erection of dioceses and appointment of bishops. The dioceses that were formed after the church was raised to the major archiepiscopal status are the following Takkale, Beltangadi, Adilabad, Chicago, Iduki, Badravadi, Ramanadapuram, Mandia, Faridabad, Melbourne, Great Britain, Hosur, and Shamshabad, and the Exarchate of Canada. On this 25th anniversary of the establishment of the major archiepiscopal status of the Church, we raise our hearts in gratitude to the Lord Almighty for all the graces showered upon the Church.